guys i use ai to change my video background from this into this even this and this and i have to, to add some elements like this 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 and this now let me show you how i did it using three ai tools before you get started you need to know the type of background you want to use for your videos and for you to get background ideas you can head over to ChatGPT. ChatGPT will give you ideas so just come to this part to ask ChatGPT. suggest what background i can use for my youtube videos i am a woman and i do educational content it doesn't have to be techy something simple and nice and then i'm going to send ChatGPT is going to respond with beautiful background ideas that I can use for my YouTube video. So it now depends on what you want. So these are the background ideas it suggested for me. If you do not like what it suggests for you, can ask it to suggest more. So the next thing I did was to ask it to write the image prompt to generate an image like number three. This number three is what I choose, this nature inspired backdrop. And this was the response I got. I'll copy this prompt and keep it somewhere. If you want this exact prompt uh, so that you can get the same result, you can just type prompt in the comment section below this video. Now, for those who would like to have a studio-like background, I'm going to give you the prompt to do so. So what you just do, do is, remember this first prompt I generated is for, for a simple background. So if you want a studio-like background, you can as well have strategies to generate that for you. I'm going to paste this prompt here. Generate an image prompt of a modern YouTube studio background with vibrant LED lighting, wall decorations, and the name of channel. So for my channel, I'll put Dolly V TV on the wall. Realistic, well lit landscape photo. Now I'm going to send a realistic modern YouTube studio setup in landscape format. And um, if you notice here, it stated the shades of the lights, the LED lighting that I requested for. So it's showing blue, purple, and pink. I can decide to change this. So you can as well decide to change your colors. Now I'm just going to go ahead and copy this prompt now and save it as my second prompt. So I'll be generating two different images, two background images, so you can see. So please know that for this image prompt that I generated for me, I'm going to delete some part because I want to have the element myself. So I don't want it to just come as a as one image. So I'm just going to delete all this part where we have the element because I want to have this element myself. But if you want to just use it exactly the way it is, you can go ahead and do that. So what I'm showing you in this video is how to generate an image, a plain background, and how you can add element of your choice. Element like microphone, a gaming chair, you know, um, anything, a table, whatever element you want to have just to make your background look studio like i'll just go ahead and delete this part i'm putting this prompt now to create an image prompt for each description placed in front of a completely flat uniform chroma key green background with no shade with no shadows no floor no lighting gradient the object should be well lit with soft even lighting across the entire of no other objects texture or reflections should appear so this part the description this description i have here is for each object that i want to place on my background or in my video now i'm going to delete this description here so i just pasted what i need here i need a modern desk with an iphone on it a gaming chair a lamp with the center empty and a podcast mic all right now this is the these are the elements that i want to add in my own video so you can add whatever you want to add. You can even specify the color of the table you want. Now I'm going to send this. This is the response I got. This is the prompt for the gaming chair. So I'll just copy this and then save it somewhere. I have for the modern decks, I have for the lamp, and I have for the studio mic. For the studio mic, I copy and I paste it here. I have all my prompts ready, as you can see. The next step is for us to generate all the images using this prompt. Now, to generate these images, head over to Google and type Google Image FX. And this first result here is what you are going to choose. So I'll just click on this. Now, right here, this is where you are going to be pasting the prompt. Under the settings part, 
then we have the model you leave it as best quality then the aspect ratio you choose the one that fits properly if you want to use it for youtube you choose landscape if you want to use it for maybe tiktok or reels you can choose portrait i'll go with landscape 16 by 9 and i'll just copy each of the prompts and i'll click on create you can do this for free on this website after a few seconds this was what i got i feel like this is looking too busy i may need to change okay I'll, i can go with this one i will go with this particular one i'll just click on this part you click on the image click on this part and you download just click on download this is looking more simple and you save it on your device note that all this that i'm doing you can do this on your mobile phone just go to your browser and put the link or you download the apps like ChatGPT. now you can get ChatGPT app on your mobile phone and you can access this form on your phone browser so i'll just save this one as simple background one if i find any other one because it generated four images for me this one may also work let me just keep this just in case of next time i'll just keep this one simple bg2 this is the simple background that i just generated i'm going to generate the second type of background second type of background and this may actually be proper for us to add those other elements now i'll just paste it right here the second one the settings still remains 16 by 9 and i'll click on create for it to generate all right as you can see um it has generated a background for me and then look at it um you can see the first one here there's an error in my name so i'll just go to the next one okay this one is fine i'll keep this one i'll download this like i said earlier in this video you can decide to change your color you can change your colors to fit what you need it for properly this one is misspelled and okay i have this as well i'll just go ahead and save you can decide to generate different backgrounds you know different backgrounds for your videos you can generate up to 10 and you change them use them for your videos or you can stick to one as it depends on you all right now i'll go ahead and copy the prompt for each of the elements now we want to add a chair i'll just copy this now and paste it right here remember a high-end ergonomic gaming chair with a headdress armrest shown upright centered against a completely flat uniform chroma key green background this is very important green background the chair is well lit with soft even lighting across the you know no floor no other object or texture i described exactly what i wanted so that there won't be any distraction or any object that will make the whole thing look somehow i told you not to add any object just the chair with a green screen or a green background so if you need all these prompts can you type prompt in the comment section i'll reach out to you on how you can get them and um, for this particular one for the elements i'll be adding to my video i'll be using this 9 by 16 aspect ratio so it will be easier for us to place it where we want to have it i'll just choose portrait 9 by 16 so make sure you are choosing this for your element i'll do the same for the other elements that i'll be adding remember i said i was going to be adding a desk a lamp and then studio mic so i'll just go ahead and create this now the chair has been generated so i will just pick any one i like i pick this and then i download as usual just click here and i download it now i'm going to repeat the same process for the other ones i'll copy this one the lamp i paste it here and i has it to create i do the same for the other elements that i want to add now I have this for the lamp, I have this for the mic, I have this for the table, all right? So this will take us to the next step, which is for us to edit with CapCut. Now open CapCut and click on create new project. And this is what we have. So now we're going to import the elements, all the elements that we'll be using. Now I've added all the elements. I will just go ahead, I will import the main video. So make sure you film yourself, you know, if you're making talking head videos. You don't have good lighting you can just sit in front of a window open your curtains allow natural light come in and record yourself make sure it is very clear clean the lens of your camera clean it very well all right so i just imported one video import the background we want to use let's say i want to use this background let me just use this background so i'll just go ahead and click it and add it to the timeline you can do this editing with your mobile phone but if you want me to do a tutorial if you want me to do another tutorial 
on how to do all this whole process using your mobile phone comment mobile phone below this video now i have imported the background i want to use. import any background you want to use and then i'm going to bring my own video on top of the background this is the background itself you understand and this is the main video i'm going to drag this background to where the video ends i'll click on my own video i'll click on this video can you see the, it is up on top of the background the background first then you put your own video i'll click on the video now and come to this part where i can see remove background and i'm going to click on auto remover all right auto remover and this part and i'll wait for it to process as you can see that here it's processing the background of my video has been automatically taken off as you can see you click on the video itself you come over to this side and adjust okay so under this lightness i'm going to increase the exposure a little i put it on five then the contrast i put on four or five the contrast i put on five but let me just leave it at four as well i don't want it to be too much then i come to sharpen I sharpen it a little bit so i'll put that on 20. it's a little bit different from what we had before and the next thing we'll be doing is to add all the elements now let's say i want to add the gaming chair i come to this and i place it on top i've placed the gaming chair as you can see and make sure that you drag it to the end of the video you know you want this element to appear to, uh, to the end of the video you can see that the chair is on my face now i will need to remove the background i click on the chair and then i click on remove background i scroll down to where i have chroma key i'll just click on this color picker and you know like just put my mouse or just tap around where i have the green so it takes off the green screen what it does is it picks the color that is on the background and takes it off now i have the chair standing alone i will need to increase the size and then i'll need to place it at my back so to do so i'll come over to my timeline where I have the layers arranged, the chair is coming to my back. So I make sure that the chair comes before me, as you can see, and I'll go ahead and increase it. I'll just scale it up. Can you see? I increase the chair and I paste it properly. Make it look real. So it's just a little bit of um, some editing. So you get it really, really nice. All right, so as you can see, I've added the chair and, you know, it's just for you to, you know, be creative about it, increase the size according, place it properly on your video. Then the next thing I'll be doing is to add the table and I'm going to place it on the timer. Let me just place above myself to see first. The table is going to be in front of me and as usual, I'll drag, I'll drag this to the end of the video. Then I go ahead and remove my background and also click on the chroma key and take the background off like this. Now I'm going to increase the size of the table as it fits properly to the video. Then I'll be adding the lamp. Add the lamp, I'll do the same. I remove the background and I reduce the size. Then lastly, I'll add the microphone. And make sure you drag all the elements to the end of the video so that you know it fits properly now once you're done once you're okay with your editing just go ahead and export the video save it on your device then you go ahead and post i hope you enjoyed this video you don't have any excuse not to start content creation all you just need is little little things like this you can change your background you don't need to worry yourself about how your background looks like and if you are comfortable using, using your background that way well it's fine but sometimes you know you may need to act professional like they say fake it until you make it can you share this video with someone you feel needs it thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video